Biography of Atiku Abubakar. Atiku Abubakar, GCON, was born on the 25th of November 1946. He's a Nigerian politician and businessman who served as the second elected vice president of Nigeria from 1999 to 2007 on the platform of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, with the president Olusegun Obasanjo. Atiku worked in the Nigerian Customs Service for 20 years, rising to become the deputy director as the second highest position in the service was then known. He retired in April 1989 and took up full-time business and politics. He ran for the office of governor in the Gongola state, now Adamawa and Taraba states, in 1991, and for the presidency in 1993, placing third position after MKO Abiola and Babangana Kingibe in the Social Democratic Party SDP primaries. In 1998, he was elected governor of Adamawa state. Why still governor-elect, he was selected by the People's Democratic Party's presidential candidate, Olushe Gumaba Sonjo, as his running mate. The duo went on to win elections in February 1999, and Atiku was sworn in as Nigeria's second democratically elected vice president on the 29th of May 1999. Atiku's second term as vice president was marked by a stormy relationship with President Olushe Gumaba Sonjo. His bid to succeed Oba Sonjo did not receive the latter's support, and he took a judgment of the Supreme Court to allow Atiku contest after he was initially disqualified by the Independent National Electoral Commission on the grounds that he had been indicted for financial misconduct by an investigative panel set up by Obasanjo. Atiku ran on the platform of the Action Congress, having quit PDP on account of his issues with President Obasanjo. Atiku lost the election, placing third after Umaru Yaradua and Muhammad Buhari of All Nigeria People's Party, ANPP. Atiku is a co-founder of Intel's, an oil servicing business with extensive operations in Nigeria and abroad. He is also the founder of Adama Beverages Limited and the American University of Nigeria, AUN, both in Yola, Adamawa State. Atiku Abubakar was born to a Fulani trader and farmer, Gaba Abubakar, and his second wife, Aisha Kande, in Jada village of Adamawa State. Atiku became the only child of his parents when his only sister died at infancy. Atiku's father and mother divorced before his father died in 1957 and his mother remarried. Eventually, his mother died in 1984. Atiku could not start school when he also, because his father was opposed to him getting Western education. When it became obvious that Atiku was not going to school, his father was arrested and jailed until he paid a fine. Atiku then got registered in Jada Primary School at the age of 8. After his primary school, Atiku was admitted into Adamawa Provincial Secondary School, Yola, in the year 1960. He later finished his secondary school in 1965 after he made grade 3 in the West African School Certificate Examination. Atiku then went on to Nigerian Police College, Kaduna. He left the college for a work as tax officer in Regional Ministry of Finance. Later, he got admission to study at the School of Hygiene, Kano, in 1966. In 1967, he graduated with a diploma. That same year, Atiku was admitted for a law diploma at Hamadou Bello University on a scholarship. He graduated in 1969 and got employed in the Nigerian Customs Service that same year. While at Idi Iroko, Abubakar met 19-year-old Titilayo Albert, who he secretly married in December 1971 in Lagos because her family was initially opposed to the union. On the 26th of October 1972, Titilayo delivered a baby girl the name Fatima. She later gave birth to Adamu, Halima and Aminu. In January 1979, he married Ladi Yakubu as a second wife. Given reasons why he took a second wife, Atiku said he felt lonely as a child and he wanted to expand his family. He also said he didn't want his children to be as lonely as he was. He regarded his wives as his sisters, friends, and advisors. Atiku has six children with Ladi. In 1983, he married his third wife, Princess Rukayatu, daughter of Lamido of Adamawa. Atiku later divorced Ladi, allowing him to marry his fourth wife, Jennifer. The maximum permitted him as a Muslim. Atiku started out in the real estate business during his early days as a custom officer. In 1974, he applied for and received a 31,000 Naira loan to build his first house in Yola, which he put up for rent. From proceeds of the rent, he purchased another plot and built a second house. He continued this way, building a sizable portfolio of property in Yola. In 1981, he moved into agriculture, acquiring 2,500 hectares of land near Yola to start a maize and cotton farm. 
The business fell on hard times and closed in 1986. He then ventured into trading, buying and selling truckloads of rice, flour and sugar. His most important business move came while he was a customs officer at their proper ports. Grebel Livopi, an Italian businessman in Nigeria, invited him to set up Nigeria Container Services, Nicotis, a logistics company operating within the ports. Nicotis would go on to provide immense wealth for Atiku. Conflict of interest acquisitions have since trailed him on account of his involvement in the business while a civil servant, who had supervisory authority. On his part, Atiku has defended himself, saying his involvement was limited to the ownership of shares, which government rules permitted, and that he was not involved in day-to-day -day running of the business. Nicotis will later be rebranded Intels and go on to feature prominently in acquisitions of money laundering levied against Atiku by the US government during his vice presidency. Atiku's business empire also includes a beverage manufacturing plant in Yola as well as an animal feed factory. On the 2nd of February 2014, Atiku left the PDP to join All Progressive Congress. On the 24th of November 2017, Atiku announced his exit from All Progressive Congress, a party he had helped to form. On the 3rd of December 2017, Atiku returned to the People's Democratic Party. He said that he decided to return home to the PDP now that the issues that made him leave the party had been resolved. In 1982, Atiku was awarded the chieftaincy of Turaki of Adamawa by Adamawa's traditional ruler, Alhaji Aliyu Mustafa. One of his most recent campaigns is to federalism. He had been delivering speeches all over the country, inspiring Nigerians on the need to restructure the country.